What a cool guy. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Tom Hanks moments. For this list, we're looking at our favorite Tom Hanks moments that showed him as the hilarious, touching, and all-round awesome guy that he is. We won't be including scenes from his movies, but anything else is fair game. I'm not doing that last one. <laughs> Number 10, crashing a couple's wedding photos. You never know who's going to show up when you're taking wedding photos. How many people can say that Tom Hanks attended their wedding? Yeah, it's nice that Uncle Mark came since you haven't seen him in 15 years, but this is freaking Tom Hanks we're talking about here. In September 2016, Hanks was jogging in Central Park when he saw a couple posing for wedding photos. Rather than going on his way, he decided to stop and say hi, posing for various selfies and photos with the bride and groom. The photographer said that Hanks had also offered to officiate the wedding, as he is an ordained minister. Just look at the smiles on their faces. You know that Hanks made their wedding extra special. Number 9. Ellen and Tom's Pixar Off as if being a terrific actor and voice artist weren't enough, it turns out that Tom Hanks is quite good at improv as well. While on Ellen, Hanks explained to the host that he has children cover their eyes so they can better imagine him as the voice of Woody. To demonstrate this, Tom has everyone in the audience close their eyes while he and Ellen improvise a wacky meetup between Woody and Dory. And now imagine you're in Pixar land and... Hey, I'm gonna swim over here. You wanna come with oh me? Oh my God, look at this fish! Buzz! Andy, look at this fish! It's right here! This not only recaptured the childhood of a generation, but also showed two incredibly good-natured and talented voice artists in action. I need my hat! You said you had my hat! Who are you? It is one of the cutest, most innocent, and most pure things you will ever see. Number 8. Hanks Performs the Big Rap It doesn't take much provocation to get Hanks going, does it? While on The Jonathan Ross Show, Hanks was telling Ross all the funny things that fans say to him on the street. Uh, they yell out Wilson quite a bit. From uh, of the Costaway film? Yeah, they, they always yell, run, Forrest, run. Ross then asks Hanks if he does the big rap for fans, causing Hanks to tell the story of how that song found its way into the movie. I met a girlfriend in a Trisket. She said a Trisket biscuit, ice cream soda, papadella on the top. Ooh, Shalita, walking down the street 10 times a week. I met it, I said it. He then breaks into song, singing it word for word and performing all the accompanying hand gestures and dance moves. Even now, decades after the release of Big, it's clear that Hanks is still enthusiastic about the movie. In Big, Hanks plays a child trapped in a man's body. We don't think he needed to act. Number 7. Documenting Lost Gloves and Other Items on Twitter What does one of the biggest movie stars in the world do with his Twitter account? Promote charities? Discuss his upcoming movies? Maybe just discuss movies in general? Nope, he documents gloves and other items he finds on the street. Sometimes he's helpful and provides the location of the lost article of clothing. Sometimes he makes up stories about the item and laments their loss. Other times he makes a silly joke. Either way, it's almost always a glove and it is always hilarious. Even if you're not a fan of Tom Hanks, but let's be serious, everyone is, his Twitter page is worth following for the tales of the lost gloves alone. How can this man be so damn entertaining? Number 6. Posing with a drunk fan No, no, Freddy, I don't want to get drunk. But you are drunk. You see, a sober person would have reached for the pretzels. It's hit or miss when it comes to celebrities. Some just want to be left alone. Others don't mind having some fun with their fans. We'll let you guess which one Tom Hanks is. After a random fan had seemingly encountered Hanks in a restaurant, Hanks and the fan decided to pose for various fake drunk pictures. Because who cares about boring autographs and handshakes, am I right? These photos see the man passed out in various positions, while Hanks shows both concern and amusement. While this was probably just another encounter for Tom, it gave the fans some pictures and a memory to cherish forever. Now that is what being a celebrity is all about. Number 5. Tom Hanks and James Corden Act Out Hanks' Filmography these kinds of shows must know that they're going to go viral whenever Tom Hanks is scheduled. Down, down, baby, down by the roller coaster, sweet, sweet, baby, sweet, sweet, don't let me go. In this instance, Corden and Hanks decided to act out and parody Tom's illustrious filmography. What followed was six minutes of pure childish joy. You're Annie? Yes! We better go. Shall we? <laughs> constant background and costume changes, many historic movie lines, tons of ridiculous props, and most of all, a whole lot of energy. 
It then ends with a duet of You've Got a Friend in Me while the audience claps along. You just remember what your old pal said, boy, you've got a friend in me. It's funny, sweet, and entertaining, and it proves that Hanks doesn't take himself too seriously. He just wants to entertain, whatever that may mean for him. Number 4. Slam Poetry Against Full House As we've seen, Tom's appearances on talk shows usually consist of him doing something both funny and sweet. In this moment, he emerges from the shadows all dressed in black, looking very season 1 Walter White, and performing a slam poem against the male-dominated household of Full House. Three men raising three girls. Or are the girls raising them? Wake up, San Francisco! At least, we think that's what he's doing. It's funny, but it's also something a little different for late-night television. It's clear that Tom Hanks is so incredibly popular that he can basically do whatever he wants. Pressure mounting, 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 time ticking. Help me, who? Rhonda! Shout the men! The men of this full house. Not too many people can say they performed a slam poem against Full House, that's for sure. Number 3. Black Jeopardy with Tom Hanks Hanks's impeccable comedic timing has made for several unforgettable moments on SNL, so this will not be the last of the late-night sketch comedy show we'll see on here. In this one, Hanks appears as a stereotypical redneck, complete with a garbled accent, Trump hat, eagle shirt, and denim jacket. They out here saying the new iPhone wants your thumbprint for your protection. <laughs> Oh, okay then, duh. Well, what is, I, I don't think so, that's how they get you. Yes! And while he quickly makes friends with the black contestants through his agreeable answers, he missteps by initially refusing to shake the host's hand and calling everyone on the show, you people. If I can laugh and pray in 90 minutes, that is money well spent. Oh, you know what, sir, I really appreciate you saying that. I like that, I really Oh, no, no, I thought, it's all good. All right. yeah, yeah, no, it's all good. This skit is hilarious and intelligent, and Hanks proves there's not a role under the sun he cannot nail. Dad, I don't know what's going on, but the board is yours. Well, thank you so much, Darnell. You people are fun. Can I say that? Is that okay? Can I say that? We'll give you a pass this time. Number 2. Toddlers and Tiaras with Tom Hanks If there's one thing this video proves, it's that Tom Hanks needs to star in a full-length movie about a helicopter pageant dad. Sophie and I did her first page when she was only three months old. Here she is. She got queen. Remember that, honey? Not really. For this satirical skit on toddlers and tiaras and child beauty pageants, Hanks appears as a diva father who is enthusiastic about his daughter's performance in the Miss Ultimate Sexy Baby pageant. I think my dad wants to be a pageant queen, but he can't. His more questionable tactics include spraying her like a cat for eating cookies and allowing her to perform Poison's Talk Dirty to Me. We don't know what's funnier, the satire, seeing Hanks as a diva pageant dad, or watching Hanks angrily ridicule a child's teeth. Either way, someone commission a full-length script pronto. I defy you to find me someone who doesn't love Tom Hanks. He's literally the greatest. He's nice, he's funny, he doesn't take himself too seriously, and he's really good at his job. But this list is all about the being funny and not taking himself too seriously angle. Number one, probably more so than any other entry. So let's check out these great honorable mentions before we see what tops the list. What is this? What does it look like? <laughs> Dummy. It's a bridge of spies. Go away. We're spying. Would you like some more coffee? Coffee, coffee. Boy, do I need some more coffee. Can you try it with a little more something to it? Because we need... This is, this is a big important scene, because King Kong is out front and he's going to smash the building. Okay. That's yes, Tom Hanks. Would you like some more coffee? Coffee, coffee. Please, sir, I need some more coffee. Good. The truth is, America needs us. No one can seem to agree on anything anymore except for two things. Pizza and us. And us. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, David S. Pumpkins. Just listen to my song and all your questions will be answered. Who am I? David Pumpkins. We told ya. Hanks first played the bizarre David Pumpkins on Saturday Night Live in October 2016. Considering the imminent U.S. presidential elections, the sketch's subsequent cult status has been partially attributed to its apolitical nature as well as its simplicity. It has since become so popular that Hanks earned an Emmy nomination for his turn as SNL host, and he reprised the role in NBC's The David S. Pumpkins Halloween special the next year. Any questions? Obviously, though, what really makes David S. Pumpkins so memorable is Hanks himself. I'm David Pumpkins, man! Are you a ghost, or what are you? My own thing! As he attempts to scare a couple riding the 100 Floors of Frights attraction, not only does he rely more on physical comedy than dialogue, he also lends the character a goofy yet charming demeanor that just leaves everyone wanting more. Okay, yeah, yeah, and David Pumpkins is... His own thing! And the skeletons are... Part of it! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.